Hey guys, and welcome back to Smart Money Minds. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about what a margin account is and what are the advantages and disadvantages of using a margin account and having one for your stock trading or investing. A margin account is a type of personal or business account that you can open with generally any broker. The difference between a margin account versus a registered account like in Canada, like a TFSA, or an RSP is that the investment gains within your registered accounts are tax sheltered or have special considerations. Margin accounts are just simple accounts for you to invest your money. There's no special tax benefit or considerations for them and you'll be taxed accordingly for your capital gains or investment income if you make money in them. But that's up to you and your accountant to figure that out. The one major difference between a registered account and a margin account is that in a margin account, you can borrow additional money from your broker to invest in your portfolio. This is called leveraging, is when you leverage someone else's money for your investment in order to magnify your potential gains. In a margin account, you generally don't need to ask your broker for money because you'll likely just be pre-approved for it. For example, in one of my Quest Trade accounts, I have total cash here of USD of $11,985. And my buying power here, as you see, it's $39,910, meaning that I have approximately 3.33 times of margin on my account. Let's say I go and buy $10,000 worth of stocks. Then I just be using my own money because I have $11,985 in cash. However, let's say I'm needing to buy up to $30,000 in stocks, then I'd be using my margin to buy that amount. I would have approximately one third stake, while my broker Questrade would have two thirds stake. Using your margin is like getting a mortgage for your house. You may live in it and do whatever you want with it, but in the end, you're gonna have to pay off your bank or the person that lend you the money, the principal, and also interest on top of that. The major benefit of using your margin account is that you can purchase beyond your means and expedite your gains in the market. For example, if you bought a share at $100 using $10,000, you'd only be able to get 100 shares. Let's say if the shares went up to $200, you'd double your money. You'd make $20,000 and that's a 100% gain. However, what if I use my four times margin account to buy $40,000 worth of shares? So that's 400 shares. And if the shares went up to $200, then that means I'd be making $80,000 in that trade. So let's do a little bit of math here. Let's say it took the stock one year to go from $100 to $200, and at a 5.25 annual interest rate, your $30,000 margin that you borrowed would cost you approximately $1,575 to borrow. So at this point, you made $80,000 minus your initial $10,000 that you put in initially and minus $30,000 borrowed, minus $1,575 of interest, you've made $38,425. So instead of just gaining $10,000, by using and maximizing your margin account, you've made a little over $38,000 instead. That's what I call magnifying your gains. But remember, with every good comes with a bad. The disadvantage of using your margin account is that you can dig a hole very deep if the stock price goes the other way. Imagine your $100 shares went to $50 that year. The worst thing that can happen if you just use your $10,000 is that you lost $5,000 of your own money. But if you use your margin to buy $40,000 worth, then the math would be that if you sold at $50 per share, your $40,000 shares would now be worth $20,000. So minus the initial $10,000 of your own money, minus $30,000 that was borrowed, minus $1,575 in interest, you're at minus $21,575. 
Now you owe the broker that much, along with the money that was lost. This was a sad reality for a lot of people when they saw the market roar. Everybody was making money, so people were remortgaging their houses and bought excessively on margin and borrowed all this money just to put it in the stock market. But when the stocks came crashing down, people owed way too much money and they had to declare bankruptcy and people even ended their lives because of it. Margin can also be very dangerous for holding long term. For example, if a company went under or went bankrupt or if the stock was halted, then all of your holdings can go to zero immediately and you immediately have to pay your broker back for the money that was borrowed and also for the interest. In the end, margin buying and using margin can be extremely beneficial or it could be also extremely harmful. It really depends on how you trade or invest and your style of doing so. So in the comments below, let me know what are your thoughts on margin buying or margin trading and investing. Do you have any stories of success or failures? Um, and just let me know and if you enjoy this video hit that like button subscribe for more of my videos And then we'll see you guys next time